Hello and welcome to the very first and not very organic intro where things patch versus the streamer. No, patches. <laughs> oh, can I show him at the start of the recording? Let's see. Well, first of all, I need this. There's still a bit of a mess. I'm still cleaning, but um, we got eh. just covered over there. I love him, but he's just so hidden beneath all that stuff, and I love it. I went away and I did a bunch of things, because of course I did, why wouldn't I? Uh, we now have 10 of the 13 Royal Arms, Armager. Hmm. We have all the material for the Type F flying car, but we can't get that until we beat the game. And we're now level 60, except for Gladio, but he'll get there. I upgraded a bunch of weapons. We now have the Drain Lance 3 and a bunch of other stuff. But one more thing. Hey, do you think we could swing by the cup noodle shop for a sec? I like cup noodles as much as anyone, but I think you might like them a little too much, big guy. There's nothing else like them. They're easy to make whenever you've got a craving, and they're delicious to boot. I'll never forget my first time. Must have been real eye-opening after all the fine dining you did before that. Mm. You know what? Let's, because that's what we're going to be doing real quick. I learned a really... <laughs> a really useful thing about cup noodles. Yay! Did you get cup noodle? Alright, Gladio. Talk to me about all the great things about cup noodle. Oh, uh, uh, walk through me, I guess. Oh, I got... Something dawned on me no. when I was on my own. Any food you make tastes better when you use good ingredients, right? Then, if you take something already delicious like cup Itchy noodles like. and add in the finest, freshest ingredients, what do you get? The ultimate flavor experience. So I ask you, Noct, what's your favorite ingredient? Does shrimp not count as meat? I guess not. Meat, I guess. That's what I'm talking about. Minced meat is the key to every perfect cup of noodles. But why stop there? I say we outdo the ordinary. Find ourselves some real good meat that'll surpass perfection. All that's left is to make our noodle dream a reality. First up, the ingredients. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. So I don't plan on doing this mission. He just, I knew he'd want to do this while we were here. But, um, I found out... Back from ...that more? if you use cup noodle in your elemental crafting, it gives you, like, the best healing you can do, 99, just using one cup noodle. So I plan to just stock up on cup noodles and to use them in Element C to have a lot of healing spells, basically. <sighs> but I need to sell some stuff because I have no money. Mm, yep, just put cup noodle in your potions and they'll be the best <laughs> potions you could ever use. Um... Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't want to get rid of everything. Laser sensor. Uh, Darth brought up the idea of playing Final Fantasy VII Remake on stream. And I'm not against that idea. I just beat uh, the Intergrade. Would anyone be interested in that? Because I know there's there's plenty of people here that know all about Final Fantasy where I don't. But there's also plenty of people here that don't know about Seven. But that's another commitment as well, because that's that's a whole last game. That is a whole last game. Much like this. Okay, cup noodles, give me your entire stock. You know, I, maybe I don't need 63. I'll take... I think I'll take 30. 30 cup noodle. Thank you. That should Take care now. be plenty of potions. He did. He suggested Crisis Core, but then I thought, if I play Crisis Core and no one knows what 7 Remake is, maybe I should play that first. Okay, so we are good for everything then. Wait. I, I can just set the map. Map point! We're going to Cape Kayam. So we're basically just good to go to take the boat, I think. We're in chapter nine. And there's 15 chapters. 
Sounds about right. Hmm. Receive new quests by visiting locations marked with question mark on your map. You say you're full loading bar, but you're not actually full. And then when you are full, you're going to load in. The screen is going to go black, and then it's going to load again real quick, and then we're going to be in. Would I be wrong? Let's find out. Easy to sleep with civilization nearby. Nothing wrong with the outdoors. No but second loading screen, yay! Safety in numbers. Right. Let's go. Also, I got the headlights for the car, and I was... Also, also, I guess since we won't be seeing it for a while, uh, I did a little design on the car. I have, I... This is how I did, did the designs when I played my first save file. Crisis Core is a prequel, so you could start with it. It spoils some things about Cloud and other characters, but I don't think it would ruin anything for people who don't know Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII. They will have a, a different reaction to some events. That is fair. Also, I gotta stop saying also. I say it so damn much. But also, uh, I do know that Seven Remake uh, is differing greatly from the original. We did start the original some time ago, and then I had to stop because I was sick and I kept coughing and then we just never came back to it. So there's that. I do plan to, it's still on our list. I'm not coughing anymore. <sighs> hey phone, I thought you were on silent. Every time I forget to put you on silent. Gosh dickity dang it. Hey. I definitely think that I want to finish our, Ra our Ratchet and Clank binge this year. So I have to focus on that at some point. I gotta say, Aranea really impressed me today. Once you depart, you will lose access to the open world for a while, and rental chocobos will automatically return to their post. Set sail for Altitia? Yes, please. Well, yeah, that too. Uh, that's very fair, yeah. They, very blocky. Oh! Thank you, encoding. Right at the start. What's she write? Hmm. Waiting for you in Altitia. Be there as fast as I can. Got it. Get ready to set. Getting ready to set sail. Be there as fast as I can. So are these magic dogs, or do they actually just run? They, 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 they can't run from Altitia to here. They have to be magic dogs. They're heading right for Altitia. Don't know how many chapters we'll get through today. I do remember in one of the updates they added the boat to be actually rideable, not just like a cutscene where you drive in a straight line, you can actually ride it. I don't know if we're gonna get to right now. I don't Look, remember. Prince Octus, even the Marshal came to say goodbye. Hey Talcott. I heard the Regalia's going on the boat with you. Hell yeah, even though there's no roads to drive there. I guess it's goodbye for now. Yeah. The Regalia's already waiting below deck. Hopefully, she'll serve you as well across the ocean as she did here. Just don't break her, or Sid'll have your head. He will. The regalia is already All waiting right. below deck. Core, how you doing? All right. Ah, oh, the old gang. What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. 
but you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. The older generation I group. Do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. Ah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ruined the moment. Yeah, there's a lot of cosmologies that I, I'm sure has a lot of lore that I haven't read. You can never have too many tools. Here. Learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. I do. Another magic flask. Nice. There's a side quest here. Maybe it's upstairs. Maybe I'll get it later. We've done enough side questing for now, I think. How do I get on board? Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board! Ah, oh, it's not closer to the dock! Unless there was a way around, which there probably was. Bye. Hey, your majesty! What's up? Please, come back soon! We need our king! You yeah. got it, kiddo. Count on it. Hmm. <laughs> We've been on such a long journey already. <laughs> yeah, real soon. Very, really soon. No. Oh, yeah, that's getting saved. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, any picture for Luna? Uh, the old group. Ah, uh, yes. Even Monica's there. And... That guy on the left. Who I definitely remember. Channel, uh, <clears throat> Chapter 9, Callings. Noctis receives a warm send-off as he sets sail for Altitia in high spirits. The king goes forth, ostensibly, to seek the blessings of the Hydran, which will enable him to cha challenge the Empire's might. But his true heart's desire is to find Lunafreya, his betrothed. Yes. Now this could take some time to load. There we go. Yule, Yorel, Yorel Plaza, Altitia. Thank the you. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, oh, but for an outsider to lead, the Imperial Army must be a no. battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That no. obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. Ominous. Altitia, city of the sea. Gain entry to Accordio. Oh, um... I can skip this? You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. Why can't it's I turn like in We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altitia, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. 
Than to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Hey. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. That's the spirit. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. <laughs> you think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith that ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Luna Freya came to have the ring? It seems Watch like King's Glaive and we will. entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion, but in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Hell. That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention yes. it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing his majesty's sword. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Hmm. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hmm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. It might. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They failed a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. Which god? They'll do so again. But we beat to the big guy. Oh no, they so tried to fell uh, tight. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Who well, feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. Mm -hmm. we just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? No. Certainly hope not. Not your type. No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes. No. But it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. Mm -hmm. Must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. Mm. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Not Should sure what that's paid about. A visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Ain't gonna do you no good. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. We believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not Thank that you. I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. Backstory. Hard childhood. He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. 
she's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altisha by now. Yeah, only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. Mm -hmm. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. <laughs> You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. You're not Change wrong. your scenery ought to do you good. Yeah. Well, I'm nice to go somewhere different down. for a while. Can't be far to Altisha now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Logic's on a fast order of business. All work and no play <sighs> makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now, Westcom. Westcom. Way back when. Yeah, he was oh, part of the group in the game the we played. Was he the one in that photo with the garage? Yeah, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo? Mago. Uh, Mago, that's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. Yeah. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Sure. Good signal. Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds he like would it. need to. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now. No. Oh. Oh, I love it. Reminds me of like going to different kingdoms in Avatar. It's own little water bridge all the way. Oh, I love it. Ah, so pretty. God damn it. Not running short on water anytime soon. Does this vessel have an entry permit? No. Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Guess we'll head back. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. It's not out of date. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Police bot. All right. We still, still have voice mod still available. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. Do, 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 do. And this is where we did the uh, platinum demo when we were when we were little kid knocked. There's voice mod. Police bot, you say. Hello? Okay. This is what you got for five minutes. Enjoy. Starting now. <sighs> Thank you, Jimmy. Finally back on land. Mm. Uh, barely. They call it the walls of water. But it ain't just the walls. It's the whole damn city. Which is why yes. we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need no to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats. Hey, yep. not uh -huh. this. Catch. Oh, uh -oh. yeah. Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? How are you going to get back home? Are you sure? Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. A water car. A boat. A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? You got it. Oh, my boys are growing up. Sid has given you the key to the royal vessel, but you are not able to go sailing at this time. Probably wait until you're finished the game, then set sail. What's next? Immigration? What do you mean? 
There's still more? Of course there is! <laughs> have you... You have traveled to other parts of the world, Noct. Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, I mean, your business. Say. Ask Ignis or leave it to Sid. Sid, you got this. Dad, can you say why we're here? Sid, it's all yours. Hey, didn't we just... I should have well, done We're here Ignis. to visit uh, a joint. Maga. Mag, Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program. I should have done In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. This amount should suffice. I don't remember this. Did I fuck up? Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. Fine. Sid reimburses, uh, Sid reimburses himself 3,000 gil from the party's funds. And if I didn't have that? Alright, thanks. Welcome to Altasia. You want to check Wescombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. Then we'd better start looking now. Okay, search for Wescombe's bar, Mago. So... Relatively small. We're Let's looking go. for the guy from the picture. An estranged friend of the cave. Knocked. You ever meet him? Nope. <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lenoir's oh, wedding Oh, I do want to do that. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Probably. Probably. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off? Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. Luckily, I know exactly where it is. Almost exactly. Let's see if I can remember my way back there. It would be up this way, or maybe the other way. This place is so gorgeous. It reminds me of Sonic Unleashed. Which I guess is somewhat like Italy? I don't know. I've never been to Italy. Kind of looks like it's meant to have Italian influence. Just from should being be on the water. Close to a famous photo spot. I'm sure we should. I'll say sure, just to make you not feel bad. But let's I'm not check doing it out. It. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> there we go. Oh, no, not here. Quests. Not that one. This one. Oh, it should be along this way, but up higher. Maybe it's up there on the other side. I remember it being on the end. Over there. No, that's what His arm's so cool. I mean, not like I actually. Hmm. Okay, maybe I don't know where it is. Excuse me, uh, could you point us to the shop with Lady Luna Freya's dress? Just follow this road towards the Secretary's estate. Then brace yourself for the insane crowds. Oh, well, I guess that's to be expected. Thank you. So She's this road? Oh, the other one? Big? Backwards. I think you mean huge. You truly get the sense. Should be here, right? Along these windows? I don't see a crowd. The dress is so beautiful. I want mine to be like that. Oh, they're all staring at the window. There it is. As surely as I am. <laughs> Looks like the prince has prince fallen. This, what huh? a hell of a crowd. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. The dress glad symbolizes for you that Lady peace. Freya is safe and sound. And unity. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. 
After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah, I'll think about it. Mm. Let's take a look inside. Alright, so where I need to be is directly below me, but I don't think we can get here by foot. We have to get here by boat, I believe. So we're gonna have to get back down to floor level. Hmm. Oh, hi. I'll take you. A gold needle. Can I jumpy? Woohoo, I can. Needle. Uh, there should be no stop. What's over there? Evening already. Time flies when you're having fun. It's right over there. God, that place looks so pretty. Oh my god. I shouldn't have played this. This is uh, making me miss traveling already, and I just came back from a trip. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like this, but still, the Christmas markets in Germany were gorgeous. Cold, but gorgeous. Right, there should be specific hero spots where I can get a hit a rad to get across. I wonder, is she really gonna leave the army? They should seem quite smitten with her. Which one is it? One is what? Her or Cindy? RNA or Cindy? Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, whew, uh, let me think about this for a sec. Take your time. I've no doubt both of them can wait. <laughs> well, yeah. Can I not take a take boat? Take a look at this. What about yeah. it? What? What's up? Gondolas, yeah, can I not take one? I gotta go sleep now. Have fun. Take care, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your night. Sid is still standing there. Can I not take a I can't get there without a gondola, I don't think. Hmm. Uh, there are specific ports you can get to take the gondola, but I don't... See them popping up on my map. Continue now. harvesting for soldiers. Now that you mention it, that does seem like overkill. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> there we go. There are the symbols on the map. Leville. I agree. Gondola. Care for a ride? Uh. Yes, Imago. If they're not going to talk about anything, I could skip, but... It's nice scenery! Imagine being on a boat like this! I've never been... It also terrified me, because I can't really swim. It's a lovely kind of piece. You know what? We're just gonna we're gonna take our time. We're gonna enjoy it. It's so lovely, I, I, I It's not fair. Just a bunch of boys on a boat ride. So, someone caught the secretary at Mago again. She and the barkeep sure are friendly. Oh, interesting. Have people ever tried to swim just from over there? Over here? Or is that a form of security? 
So what next? Mercado. Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Nice. Alticia, city on the sea. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Where's Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Weskamarma, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. <laughs> ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. He heard about your story, sir? Oh, oh, God. Why does your necktie thingy have, like, two different colors and patterns? It's bothering me. I mean, it's so cool to be unique, but visit. it's you bothering my so even far? brain. You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country Stripes is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, oh you weary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Your math animations are great, permission. but... And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. Hmm. <laughs> Ask by the Empire about Leviathan, about the Oracle, that's all. Let's start with the first. So you see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. Are you allowed to use your own boat to come and go as you please as a business owner? They want the heavens as well. <laughs> About the Oracle. How's Luna? You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Leviathan, please. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. Mm. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? <laughs> well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished Hello. guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. So, someone caught the secretary at Mago again. She's she is right sure here. Friendly. There's got to be something going on. She wouldn't spend so much time at that place if there wasn't. <laughs> I heard she's at the Mago again. Right in front of us. Hi. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. Hi. First secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. That's so? And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. You got it. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. She's a politician. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from Black your journey. Help. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. You don't want us to go see... I mean, we're not too dirty right now, but we could just go see her all dirty clothed. Head to the Laville. Splendid. Where are we off to? 
And back to the little little, my good chap. Please and thank you. This time I will skip. It's a lovely ride, but it's getting. Although, ah, oh, the boat ride at late night on the water would be nice. Equip armaments and accessories to enhance a character's attributes. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Likewise, gondolier. Enjoy your night. So, you as far as what about it? As far as I know, this is the best multiplier. Multiplier for any night stay. Hi, Tatiana. Tatiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory. You don't wear where shoes. Where king may walk. And cozy Rosie's are gonna get cold. Oh, you do? What? Oh God, what? You wear high heels with the toes exposed. That's a choice. Yes, the. Um, through Umbra, Umbra's power, you can now revisit past memories. Basically, if you want to go back to where we came from, Eos, you can use by using Umbra. Summon him when you rest at lodgings. Characters will retain their current level and act abilities. Rental chocobos will automatically return to the past. Post. Uh, the place you called Umbra will be set as your last rest point. You can now sail the open seas in the royal vessel. Board the boat from Golden Key, Cape Kyum, or Altisha. Neato. Yeah. Cape Kyum. Oh, Golden Key. Really? From Golden Key? Huh. Messenger's amulet. Interesting, interesting. Well, that's... Oh, we don't have Greetings. to stay the night. How much do... I thought this was times three. Very well. Or is it the other one? Do you do the times three? Greetings. Oh god, yeah. It, it probably wasn't an update because you couldn't ride the boat on your own for a while. And much like the off-road car, they added that later. 30,000 for three times. No, well. thank you. I don't need to rest at all. Thank you. Kind of wasting points if I do. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Let's do it. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Hmm. Good point. He'll cast lightning. I have seven AP, so not much. Oh my God, you're so right. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I forgot it was active. I was just kind of doing things. Thank you. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. I hope it was understandable the whole time. Hmm. I was busy looking at the city. I couldn't help it. Do you see that knocked? What is it? Interesting voice. Do you see that, Nook? Do you see that over there? Fucking hell. Yes. Goddess is merciful as the sea is wide. May Leviathan long protect this land. Peace be upon the province of Accordo. Idolus Aldercraft, Aldercapt, Emperor of Niflheim. Peace be unto the province. Indeed. Now let's head for her office. I remember this section pretty vividly because it felt out of nowhere, but it also felt interesting because it wasn't anything I could have expected to do. Hmm. There it is. Howdy doody. Once the negotiation begins, you will be unable to return to the city. Are you certain you wish to continue? Yeah, we have enough time. About half the recording left, I'd say. <laughs> the Accordo Protectorate. Protectorate. Mm. Kingdom Hearts music, I miss you. Sounding a little bit like it.
lovely floor. Camellia. Thank you for coming. The negotiation is about to begin with First Secretary Klostra. Engage her in a manner befitting a king and strive to win her trust and cooperation. No sweat. First things first. Off to a good start. Express gratitude. Pry into private affairs. Probe for knowledge. Express gratitude. Be courteous. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Hmm. Those circumstances have changed. Both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Show concern for Accordo. Demand to see Luna Freya. Or doubt Luna's security. Concern for the city that she... runs. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk. One we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Hit me. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? Be truthful, tell her nothing, answer vaguely. Truthfully! She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Usually not, no. <laughs> Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. Understandably you know so. better than most what took place in Lucis with Archeon. Mm. Tell me, what happened? Shit, I mean, to be fair, he was be cheeky. Be truthful. He was holding a giant meteor at the time, so it's pretty impressive he still managed to fuck us up. Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. Most likely not, no. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. You have the soil gods here? and the Empire be damned. Allude to a common enemy. Uh, show concern for the city or be realistic. Concern for the city. It's what she cares about. It's her only concerns. It would be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed. We must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. Understandably so. Cut to the chase. Distance yourself. Agree with her. Agree. No doubt about it. We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Mm-hmm. Without further ado, let us talk terms. Let us. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. Of course. Agree to help evacuate, feign apathy, suggest further measures. Yes? All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. Should I have as suggested long as further the measures? Safety is assured. I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Yeah, figured. Act displeased, act worried, act confident. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. Yeah, yeah, That is all we know. for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Gladly. Agree amicably, respond pompously, or accept casually. Amicably sounds like the correct one. All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. You better. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My mm -hmm. duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. Emphasize, em empathize with her position, remain silent, return the threat. Empathize, I guess. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thank you. I don't have a beard. Thanks. Say thanks. Ask her meaning. Reject the association. Thank you. 
cordial thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. Gee, I wonder According who I'll to choose. Our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs> Noctis won the First Secretary's unreserved trust. Yay, and I got four coins. Thanks for slipping me those, I guess. And this nearly sets up one of the earlier gameplay demos that I watched that didn't make it into the game, really. In a manner it did. Not to the same extent. Look at those curtains. I can't too. promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. Me too. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? I don't know who the last oracle was. We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. Would that imply that uh, Noct's mom was the oracle? The right, the day of the right. The right of the day. The, oh, okay. Uh -huh. During the right, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Uh -huh. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. Mm -hmm. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. And as soon as it splits off in a bit, that's where Ignis's DLC starts and goes off into an alternate ending. So we won't be doing that until we finish the game. I might have said that once already, but still. Oh, still going? Okay. Lunafreya Nox Fleure. Though Noctis and Lunafreya have not met in the 12 years since the Imperial Conquest of Tenebrae, they've maintained a correspondence all the while. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. Huh. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. Mm -hmm. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please, but you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Okay, bye. Your public is waiting for you. Hi. So these are actual soldiers, not MTs? These are acting kind of hesitantly, I'm guessing. Why even bother? Uh, an island nation known for the beauty of its water-bound capital, Altitia. Although uh, annexed by the empire, empire in the war 150 years ago, it remains. It retains its own government. Neato. Someone had to make this art. My God. How can people paint this good? Or maybe even 3D this good? Either way.
knocked. You in position? No. Don't forget the plan. You guys too? Of course. G. Head. My headphones are off. Talk about a crowd. Like yeah. The whole city's come to watch. I guess I don't want to get any closer. It's fine. Luna! My ears itchy. Voices! Dear friends, I stand before you today. With little hope, the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world. And as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. <sighs> By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. I wonder how her DLC would have played. I haven't reached that part in the book yet. I'm currently on RNA's section. Bless you all. First time not to have seen her in, what was it, 12 years? I think. No. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm normal. I'm fine. Alright, phone! Yes. Hello. Knocked. The Empire's here. Of course they are. I can see him. Dropships are closing in on the board. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Okay, look after the citizens. We got them covered. So, it begins. So, so it begins. Hmm. Can I get this done in the next half hour? I don't know. Took us an hour to get this far. Covenants, rites by which the oracle rouses the slumbering gods and entreats their aid. Hmm. This is one of the things I, re well, I remember. I remember a lot about this game, but this section I remember pretty. Like I remember, like just seeing it and be like, "Oh my god, this is so cool," <laughs> and a lot, and oh my god. Oh, she's doing the singing. Okay. I remember it so well. <laughs> One poor mortal dares break the slumber of the it tide. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Big boy. Love 
Leviathan. Root? This wretched pile of bone and flesh, ignorant of that which governs all, comes to requisition the might of a goddess. You got it. I'm on it. Then the right's already begun. Most likely. Yep. Oh. Let's do it. I should be definitely good level to do this. There. And I got the recovery move. Yes. Yep. There we go. Do, do, do. Yep. Hi there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do love the music. Yeah. Come on. Nope. No. No. Mm -hmm. And yunk. Ugh, I love this game. What do you mean, D? There's no one left. Hi. What does a lowly, ephemeral speck know of all creation? I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. Bit rude. <laughs> I get it, someone woke you up early, but just get to work for Christ's sake. <laughs> Blasphemous ingrates, all men quick to forget the ages their goddess stood watch. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise. And in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. Yet this profane speck speaks her king, Heres Heresies, before a goddess in If not, then the feeding shall begin, and I shall not end until every last speck is developed. Alright then. Fair, I guess. So let the covenant be forged. Heaven and earth, high and deep, birth and eternal. Get. Toes headed your way. Get into it. Well, what about you guys? We're way below. There's only room for two. Knox, jump! Jumping! What? No time for questions! I'm jumping! Just one sec, I gotta be I gotta Okay, I just okay, I just jumping! Man! Ah. Thank you! Uh, oh. How was this? <laughs> New ride we borrowed from the Niths! This will get us in close! Serious? Here she comes! Uh, uh, no. I can't do a better score than that. Just a giant throwing spear. I knew we'd go places. Not again. Not making this easy. Nope. No. How did I miss that one? Uh, hi. Can you reach? No. Hey, Hydrin. How you doing? Hi. I don't know what you're saying. Request her power, demand her power. Request. I need your power! That, that sounds like a demand. Hmm. 
I guess not. All right. My bones. It's fine. Back up we go. Defeat Leviathan. I guess I'll try. Once I get past this damn invisible wall. And this one. There we go. So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down? Sounds fair, I guess. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, not going that way. Where am I going? Hmm. Ah, gotcha. Took a little bit of a beating, Luna. You can sit down. I totally got this. Oh, hey, Arden. Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. And do remind him about the crystal. Did you have to stab me to do that? Oh, Prince, your bride awaits! <sighs> I will pass the ring to the rightful king. is fulfilled all enthralled to darkness shall know peace hmm. Harden's story is pretty tragic too we'll get there Doesn't quite justify all that he does, but makes it a bit more understandable. You're not. Yeah. Fair. So that's all the royal teams I've been to. Uh, chills. It's fine. One more for the collection. No, oh, the mute somnus, yes. All right, let's go, Warpy. It's quick time events, but it's still awesome. You don't need that, I'm sure. All right, let's get to it. What? Oh. Can I target your other wing? No. Oh, need to defend. Well, no. How about you don't do that? No. No. Am I defending right? I don't think so. Hmm. Nope. No. Defending, defending. Hmm. 
Well, okay. Just keep shooting. I'm the Dragon Ball now. And Warp Strike, what does that I'll find out in a minute? I imagine it does the same thing at all this does. It's more extra. Yep. Well, kinda. Ooh, he's got a whirlpool going. What are they? Not a hard fight, but I did super level. I just love the scale of it. Should pop up out of the water right about any second. Quit. Okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. I bought all those cup noodles and I don't even need them. Oh, oh shit. Fine. Somewhere. There you are. Oh boy. No. We're fine. Oh, no, we're fine. Back up. Ah, get him. No, oh, you don't. Nope. Mm -hmm. Well. Nope. No dodge. Oh, you don't need that horn, do you? And this one. Yeah, you don't need those, it's fine. Or this one. Are we done here? Are you gonna join my club now? I'll keep doing it. Come on, then. Come on. Uh, going, doing, 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 doing. There we go. No. Royal indigestion for you. Because the, Le the Leviathan wouldn't agree to join my club unless I beat it first. So. Time to tear out his throat, I guess. She didn't think we were worthy, so we proved we were worthy by killing them. It's Thank you, throat. That didn't take that long at all. Oh, it's time for another one of my favorite scenes. It's so gorgeous. Blessed stars of life and death. Fuck yeah, Titan! Get in line. Shame I can't get Garuda in here too. That's gonna be hell on the architecture. So that's how the giant co giant's causeway was made.
Titan came to our rescue. Mm. Noctis. Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> the flowers of Tenebrae. Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But... That doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, blooming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down, God, it's so gorgeous. Fuck you. <laughs> when you find yourself alone amid a lightless place, some animators put their fucking soul into to this. The distance. Know that I am there, and that I watch over you always. And the symbology of Luna growing up, accepting everything, and not staying a kid, not wanting Farewell. to accept it. Then <laughs> reality. Yeah, I'm fine. Such a gorgeous scene, though. Oh, and this fucking broke my heart, too, when I first got here. <laughs> He's Phoenix down, never. Oh, my fucking that god, this awesome. killed me. Watch. I'll tell the others. Why does he have glasses? What, what happened to his face? <laughs> You're hurt. Oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. Mm. And Luna? She has passed. <gasps> Umbra left that for you. They shouldn't be getting me again, fuck's sake. <laughs> I get the complaints from people that it didn't really get affect them because we never like we never get to see them together. Like, she's barely in the game. But to me, that just hits me harder of, like, not, like, the only thing that seems to be the not, oh, <laughs> they're fucking guiding him because he can't see.
Uh, fuck. The only thing that Nock care ab cared about, really, aside from his boys, was seeing her again. And all the build-up to finally getting to see each other, and now you'll never see her again. Yeah. I remember vividly the first time I got here, I was not okay. Like, going through that death scene was enough. But then, like, seeing Ignis, where something happened to him, he 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 can't really move that well. He has glasses, a scar on his face. I was like, what happened to you? <laughs> what? No. Uh. Yeah, take all the pictures. Why not? <laughs> Set them looking at the dress, and Ignis is like, mm, it's alright. Carbuncle! Ah! Rescom. Prompto was taking pictures while we were there. Chapter 10. The Heart of a King. Across the water and onto the rails, the royal retinue makes, the gra uh, the gralia makes for Gralia, the imperial capital. Their objective, reclaiming the crystal, that they may might reclaim their homeland. However, the ring's weight proves too much for Noctis to bear. Set the camera up somewhere. At the, like at the top of the uh, window. On a timer. They have magic, who knows. Alright, I think we have less than ten minutes. We have enough time to get this scene started and then end it. Okay, so six chapters left. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Some of them will be decently short, and others will be surprisingly long. So we're not finishing this today, but we're hopefully finishing it this week. <coughs> also, the thought of the... Uh the Scourge of the Stars. Uh, the thought of the Luna Freya DLC. I wonder what she would have played like. I'm very curious, because I've seen the concept art in the book, and I want answers of what that means. Several weeks later, Magna Forcia Sucarpe. Hop in. Still taking it well. So, we're gonna roll through Tenebrae. He has a Not before visiting the world too stick many now. Mm. Oh. Uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. I sign some matter of time. What the hell is wrong with you? He's grieving. What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. How's that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty. Not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you too. And for what? Enough, Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <clears throat> I get it, all right? 
I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. Knocked! Leave him. Mm. One ring. Gameplay. Gameplay. Noctis is free to roam about the train until it pulls into the station. Off the rails. Well. That'll have to do it for me for now. I can't even save, so we're going to have to come back to this in just a minute. What time is it currently? We have enough time. We have enough time for a bit more. So, thank you so very much for tuning into this video. And I will see you in the next one, and I hope that you take care. I keep looking at the light above the camera, so I'm like slightly looking at it, but the little light that tells me it's on, that's just where I focus. So it's close enough. <sighs> Goodbye.